so far, he has gotten through the first act without any death. He even picked up a life. <laughs> it's been years. Oh no! where you can stand though. Was it at the edge of this? Yeah, there it is. Yeah. Yeah. I think I'm thinking touch me though. Now you have to like your base of your foot has to be right at the edge and then you'll, you'll be able to uh, like with the fire anyway. Like see now I'm gonna have to move. <clears throat> Unbelievable. Well, you know, it's been years since I've had any kind of run through. This four is all to go on here. And there's, a, there's a couple of homebrews that are, I don't even know, but they're probably different. There's a, uh, a couple of hacks of Contra, like, uh, the, like Little Contra, where it's, like, where it's like double this. I've seen uh, a couple of people play it where it's just madness. Double the enemies, double the firepower. But you get like 30 lives to start off with. Because it's necessary. Oh. Why did he die there? No, because he jumped down. He's not supposed to die though. There's, there's a platform. Want one more go? We'll, we'll continue. Oh, that fire shit. I can barely see the shot. That's a weird thing. Like, mess up. To, to shoot him up to beat him up with more so like R type stuff. There's a platform there. I'm also surprised that Contra is like the first thing on the list. Mm -hmm. Now, would you say like, this is like one of your favorite games? This is definitely like my all-time probably favorite NES game. 
school was, I mean, it's like obsessive. Every day after school, I come, I beat this game. Did you ever play in the arcade? I, I didn't know there was an arcade version. Was there, was there an arcade? Most version? NES games came from ports of uh, arcade patties. Most, not not all of them. Like Donkey Kong or right. Mario or whatever. Most of them were in arcade cabinets. I played them, they were bigger than Mario, too. Safety. Just some muscle memory here. Remembering all these little things. The B. The B is like the star in Mario. Yeah, if you're invincible. So I'm used to like jumping back down kind of. throw a spread at one of these, you can actually blow these rocks up. You can individually do it. Yeah, it just, it just, it takes so much firepower. You have to be pretty close to them with the spread. So the spread here is pretty much the knife in Ghost of God. It's, you need it to beat you, the game. You absolutely like, there's need no, it. There's no beating this game without the spread. I mean, you can. You but, can, like, you can but, but it's so impossible. Like, it would be so difficult. Certain things are, I mean, like, I learned to really navigate this, this part of this level with the laser. I used to be able to get, like, down like this with the laser, like, and get, and just send, like, certain shots like that. Ah, up into that corner, see that? Yeah, right there. That little thing right there. Yeah. What, 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 are, what are those things? Those, little, those are, like, turrets. Those are missile turrets. Yeah, that's a missile turret. Oh, okay. And that's why you need to spread. You need more lag. <clears throat> Have you ever felt like you were lacking in life? Have you ever used spread? Let me introduce spread. <laughs> oh, you sneaky bastard. <laughs> Hey, we're going to sneak right there, man. Gotta spread it on now, yeah. <laughs> Keep it meta. <laughs> it's just how much easier my life is with this spread night. I mean, really. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, you bastard. Oh. Alright, boss with. All the while. Nice. Yeah. Spread. That's what you need. You need the spread. You need the spread. There we 
have it. Level level three completed. On to level four. I think it's another straight ahead, like straight through the tunnel level. If I recall, yes. But now there's there's it's added difficulty because the, the little guys set off rollers on their own now. Ooh, roll, roll. Rollers start coming at you. Yeah. Again. Yeah, blame. Oh yeah, spread. <laughs> spread is definitely the plan here. Just look at that. Look at that. Oh, watch out, guys! See what you're doing. Can't stay out too long because they'll they'll bomb you. <coughs> Oh, ah. that one came out of nowhere. Let's see if oh, it's so, so horrible. You almost can't tell because of the dimension. I mean, this is very innovative. This is like... Oh no, I want that guy. See, I There's there. not that many games that portray this type of um, line of playing. So it's very uh, interesting to see the shooter with a straight ahead back. Literally does nothing for me. What are you shooting a pistol? It's, it's yeah, it's, it's the first. You go back to the original weapon. <laughs> Not like Ghost and Goblin where you like keep the last weapon you have. Yeah, but that that has a very stupid way of having that. Like in order to get that knife again, you have to go through a whole different process of refining it by random chance. Here, at least, you have a higher chance of getting something else. Ooh. Yes, and I got the fire. There we go. You know what I'm talking about? Ghosts and Goblins doesn't give you that type of leg up. Like, oh, you're gonna mine this one area for a potential random chance that you're gonna get this enemy. I mean, this is kind of ridiculous to be in. Like, I really should have kept the fire. round with this guy. That's first, that's, that's first like, round. First round. I'll bet, I'll bet. that. In my defense, it's been many years since I've played this game. First round. Let's try it again. Alright. Let's try it again. 